Okay, so guys, uh, I'm just here in my lunch. If you watched uh, yesterday's video, in the last video, we had uh, I had uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, I had prepared this lunch, and I said that uh, I am also preparing the sacks so that I can be able to uh, plant them uh, here. And like I promised now, uh, I said that uh, we are going to have. Uh, we want to make sure that at least. Uh, we have got uh, enough skuma wiki because uh, uh, our kids, our chickens are feeding on it. And also another thing is that uh, this skuma wiki, we are now uh, approaching on the dry season, of which uh, it's gonna be uh, very helpful uh, to those one who will not be having vegetables. And that's why uh, I've decided at least to plant the long lasting, the long lasting uh, uh, vegetable. So today was the collection of the body at Babagiti rivers, uh, uh, the death of Babagiti river, further to Babagiti river, I mean. So we have, uh, actually right now we are just coming from the, uh, the morgue to deliver the body to the home. And uh, I saw Giti river was just taking some of the videos, you just watch in his, in his channel. And me here, uh, I just came back right now because we had to be together with him so that uh, we and uh, the rest of the YouTubers uh, so that uh, we can at least uh, uh, hold her him a hand so if you see very well this kuma wiki have already been planted and if you check very well you realize that even the down is very wet so this means that uh, uh it was just uh planted today and i have uh, i had to water them i had to water it uh, because uh we don't have rain right now so I decided that uh, I water I water it uh, very well. I make sure that uh, it has got enough water. So even right now in the evening, in this evening, I want again to uh, to make sure that uh, I have uh, applied more water. Uh, in fact, immediately when I will uh, I will finish uh, uh, shooting this video, I will make sure that uh, the water has been uh, applied very well. So here, I want just to go. Uh, uh, inside the house there because we will be also be discussing the issue of uh, uh, my brother Otenga Jr. I was watching his video and I uh, thank you very much uh, for those one who have prayed for him and uh, also for those one who advised him on how he can be able to handle that issue. So if you see uh, this one is the only part that remained uh, I think like uh, three lines here. So I'm supposed to remove these, uh, these weeds aside and uh, if i get the skuma week the another sacks i'll be able to plant here you know uh, the one that uh, yesterday we took from uh, the other places we planted it i planted it here all of them i planted it here there were a lot of them they tried and this one that you are seeing here like this one i just planted the same same way that i planted this one the same method that i used to plant here is the same same method that i've also I used to here. I used to plant here, so I feel like maybe I will come and uh, put some fire here, or I will just remove them and uh, throw them uh, uh, somewhere or arrange them somewhere on the on these places, uh, so that uh, we can plant here. So if I get, I will have to check if somebody has it, he will be able to sell to me, so that uh, I can be able to, I will be able uh, to plant. So that is our house. You can check how it is from far it can be seen our storage room and our house that is the electrical post and uh, we have got uh, the electricity is there that's where the lights are on those lights once it is evening time they just switch on automatically so that's the perimeter wall for the security to make sure that the security is okay but uh, someone installed for us the bulb Somebody stole the bulb that was here. We had a bulb here. I don't know who stole it because I just waked up previously in the morning. Then I found that it is not uh, there. It is missing. So I don't know who did that. But whoever did that, God uh, God is seeing him. God has seen, he's seen him. And it's only God who's going to pay. But me, I don't have something to say. But only to live for God. God to come and uh, uh, be able to deal with that issue. So let us go uh, there on uh, uh, in the compound 
I will have to come back in this garden. Uh, I will put on the gumboots and make sure that uh, uh, I have watered those vegetables very well. Because if there is something that I like, is the vegetable. They help me a lot. Like in home, they have been helping my my garden a lot. In hotel, she has got a hotel. My mom, so she has been coming here to take the skuma wiki. So this place, even this place. When we get that kind of skuma week, we shall be able to plant all of it. So if I get like 200 sacks, 200 sacks that the one like the one that uh, I was having yesterday, I just plant it here, all of them. So that one, I will not wait until this one get old, but I just plant, I just replant in the middles, so that uh, it start growing very early. When this one is old, you find that already we have got another skuma week there. So that is uh, my plan. Okay, so let me pass here. I go. Yeah. Okay, so I think I will have just uh, uh, to explain something just small uh, for uh, my brother Otenga Jr. Because um, I was watching his video, and uh, when I was watching that video, I was also crying. While watching that video, I was crying a lot because uh, what is uh, passing through right now, what my brother is passing through right now, is only God who knows. But uh, we know that uh, everything will just be okay. Things will just be okay. There's no need uh, of giving up. So maybe I can just sit here uh, on my ballast. I don't know if the normal half snakes on the ballast, but even if it is here, uh, there's no problem. So I want just to take this opportunity uh, to thank you a lot for those one uh, who watched. Uh, that is what is the time now? Six thirty. The roster is just uh, alighting me that it is 6, 6 30. so uh otenga jr i was watching your video bro in fact when i saw that title after you had mentioned me because uh, each and every time you find that uh, uh we as the team when we upload the video we mention each other so that whoever is watching and he has not subscribed he can be able to subscribe so i was watching that video for otenga and um uh, i was not happy anymore about uh, uh by the end uh, uh, in the ending part because uh, when i started watching that video if you go and uh, watching that video you realize that i commented like uh, four times because i was just watching that video very keen i was just watching that video one by one one by one uh, so that i can be able to get the point and when i started watching this video uh i realized that uh, my brother was talking about uh uh, the donation the fundraising that was in the i think it was in the village and uh through the support of friends he was able to get uh to twenty thousand and uh also some friends also added him like uh one thousand one hundred so it was something that very nice i was very happy because uh, uh even he said that he challenged the guest of honor guys the guest of honor something that made the guest honor at least to give something that is on top now so uh, when i just continue watching the video uh, he asked the socks for his wife from his wife the wife i mean huh? why do me use that the wife so when he asked for the socks me i thought that maybe he wanted to go and help uh, uh seth planting the grass but immediately when i saw him the way he was speaking uh, and I had already seen the title of the video. I actually realized that uh, something is wrong somewhere. So when he extended a lot now going in the far away from home, something starts speaking to me that uh, you guys are supposed to go on watching this video. So I watched the video, I watched the video. But uh, the main thing that I came to hear in that video from my brother, that uh, to me, I'm just speaking this 
then I will be able to give him my advice as uh, the leader of their team of the team even if I'm a single even if I'm single but uh, I'll try to give him uh, my best advice so I heard him saying that uh, he has never shared the story of his life and so he was saying that uh, uh, he don't put marriage uh, marriage stories on media or on platform so uh, he explained very well how they met with the the, the wife when she was in school uh, 2020 2020 she had to wait until the wife finished the school is when she took her is when he took her i mean and uh suddenly just uh, abruptly for what has happened to him was not good because uh the wife that she loved most she's the mother of the child she has been taking care of the other family's friends this is the wife that uh, my brother was telling that uh, she has been advised i don't know if it is to advise or uh, she, she has been they have predicted for her that she's supposed uh, to be in town so i don't know if this is uh, the kind of uh, uh, pastors that we are supposed to have in this world and not that i'm just speaking very bad to the pastors i'm sorry of, of, for this and god forgive me if i'm doing wrong but what i'm trying to pass across is that uh, i don't understand in a way whereby somebody who calls himself a man of god instead of him praying for you and bring the mediation bring you b between you and bring the peace the same same person who's advising and leading to the separation of your marriage i don't understand this and i've never seen this and if it is there god forbid so my brother i know you are watching this video tenga this is just a peaceful message to you that i know many people love you and all respects you few people will hate you and once you have started progressing in the world you start building also an enmity around the community where you are this enmity that has been built in the society between you and those people who are not happy about your marriage who are passing the rumamongas to your wife about you i'm telling you that is not going to be successful anymore bro no one is going to separate your family brother no one is going to break your marriage god is the one who unites god is the one who gives somebody's wife with a reason and if god gave you a wife bro no one will be able to separate your marriage comes shine comes sun comes rain there's no way god almighty is the mediator god almighty is the uniter god is going to bring peace between two of you and you guys believe me or not i wrote on the comment bro there's nothing that is going to happen between your marriage in jesus name i'm not a preacher i've never preached me i'm sorry to say this i don't go to church I don't go to church but i believe in god i believe in god a lot and i trust in god for everything that i do i've never uh, i've never thought something like maybe uh, one day to come and uh, maybe change mind and worship something else
there's somebody's on the gate. Let me check. I thought somebody's on the gate. Kuna mtu kwa gate. Hello. Nobody. I had a knock on the gate, so I thought maybe somebody is knocking on the gate, but no one is there. So guys, what I'm saying is that, bro, no one is going to separate your marriage. Okay? Believe me, brother. I have not married. I don't have a wife. But at least the advice that I can give you is that no one is going to separate your marriage. Guys, I want to harvest my maize there. I need to harvest my maize. So, for Ugali, I need to have Ugali. I've been buying the flour each and every time I buy the flour to cook Ugali. I want to start harvesting this maize. But before I harvest, maybe we shall just uh, go inside and uh, check the work that uh, we need to also to discuss something. So the story of Otenga Jr. It was just a peaceful message to Otenga Jr. Actually, that's uh, this will be the title of the video. Uh, title of this video will be peaceful message to Otenga Jr. I'm looking for the key. I don't know where the key is. So the key is here. Peaceful message to my brother, Otenga Jr. So I have to cut this video because of the music. Because I need to go in the house. Uh, I need to go in the house and uh, go and see the work that they have been doing. I don't know. Oh, the key is there. So what I will do to avoid this copyright, I will just uh, over talk this way and uh, make sure that uh, no copyright anymore. So I was just, uh, I'm sorry for the copyright, but let me hope it has not been captured in the, in the video. And if it has been captured there, my brother who sang this, that song, please, I have already talked in the video, I'm sorry. So don't uh, complain that uh, I have used your video. So Brotenga, take heart brother, we stayed with you, I know you, and uh, when I was in problem, you stood up with me a lot. So even me, I can advise you at least something. Guys, you can check on our beautiful house. So I had to bring the timbers inside. This one is supposed to be used on the master bedroom. We are supposed to use this one in the master bedroom. Uh, then we have got uh, the cement here. We have got our cement here. I need to add another cement tomorrow, very early in the morning, uh, because uh, the work will be going on thorough working here. We shall not have joking. We want to work. Even me, I will be working tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be working. No time to joke. So this one is okay. No time to joke. It's working. So I need to close it because it is already in the evening. I know one day, one time, we are going to have all the winters in this house. I know for now we have got only that one too but in future we will be having more than that yes so this is why i want to talk about but i'm sorry for the darkness i'm sorry for the darkness but uh i think it will just will just uh, uh it will just be okay so if you see very well, you realize that uh, we have got uh, a, a structure here, this kind of structure here. So this one, uh, uh, I think yesterday when I uploaded uh, a video, uh, we had uh, some of the subscribers who was uh, 
who are advising me something that was very nice. And uh, let me just uh, um, uh, assure you that uh, uh, whatever you did, you advised me to do is going to be done. Whatever you advised me to do is going to be done. First, I would like to explain to you that we are going to have a, a stove in this room and uh, I will be showing you the location of the stove. We are going to have uh, the drawers in this room. I will also be showing you the location of those drawers. We are going to have uh, the fridge. I saw somebody asking where we are going to have the fridge. Uh, still, we are going to have it, but there's no problem. So just keep on watching this video. I shall I'm going to be uh, explaining to you. So what you are seeing here, this is uh, now the structure that was laid today. And uh, this structure that was laid today, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be uh, put the slab. So today was just the construction and uh, plastering, if you see very well. And this is uh, a work that has, has been done today. So uh, this work was done today. And uh, tomorrow also it will continue. Whereby we are supposed to have uh, the wire mesh and some of the uh, the reinforcement bars of which I've already bought them. I've already bought the wire mesh, I've already bought the detail, detail. I've already uh, bought the cement, uh, we have got, uh, I've already bought the, the bricks, and uh, I've already bought the sand. So that's why I have now come up with this kind of structure. So tomorrow what is supposed to go on, uh, they are supposed to uh, come and uh, do now, what we call slabbing. They are supposed to put the slab here tomorrow so that we can be able to have uh, uh, the worktop that will be able to receive uh, the marble. The worktop that will be able to receive the marble. So remember, uh, our, um, uh, I don't know what I can say, our island. I'm sorry for the pronunciation, guys. You will just understand me because I have got a problem since I've been young with pronunciation. I've been I've, I've been with that problem a lot. Even my teachers used to tell me that. But when it comes to write, I was writing something that is very accurate, but speaking becomes a problem. So I'm sorry. You'll forgive me for that. Just understand me like somebody who's a, who has a disability. Somebody who has a disability and uh, everything will just go. So when I say something like window, just understand me, it is my disability that I have. And don't laugh my disability, just understand it that way the way I call it. So this is an island. This is island uh, structure here that has been constructed. But uh, if you see it, you may, maybe you think that it is a, excuse me, this one is a two point, two and a half feet by, four feet, two and a half feet by four feet. So this is a, a, a structure that uh, will receive the marble. And remember the marble, so when they fix the marble, I think the marble will extend a bit, maybe up to somewhere here. You see? Like, like, like a half and feet. And also at this place, it's supposed to be like a half a feet. You see this guy when they were, but I think, okay, well, it can just uh, be that way because if you extend it, passing here will be the problem. So I think uh, if it just be here, uh, they can just extend with maybe uh, one inch and one inch. They won't put the full of it because if they put full, passing here will be the problem because we need uh, accessibility here. But it's still okay, I'm not complaining. Everything is just, I'm just trying to give idea about it. So that is what happened today. And uh, we shall just be taking the videos uh, as time goes. Because uh, we just came and realized that we cannot be able to tie the kitchen down on the floor. And this one has not been constructed. Because if we tie it down, that means that uh, we are going to have the interference now when they will be constructing. Our tents will going to be dirty and uh, also even walking will be the problem and bring the materials inside. So we want this one to be done. Uh, they, we put the marble once and for all. Uh, after putting the marble once and for all, we just tile it, uh, finish it 
Uh, after finishing it now, we can now come to the tiling of the floor. So that is the good news uh, that I have from the from my kitchen here. So let me know what you think about about it. So that one I've finished explaining. So let us come now to the our kitchen. Yesterday I was talking something, but I'm sorry for uh, what I was speaking, and I'm just asking forgiveness for all that uh, maybe uh, I did wrong, because uh, sometimes you get that we have not uh, understood very well some things. Huh? But uh, uh, here we are going to have our sink here. But this sink is we are going to have a design of drawers. Although we are not going to have the drawers, but we are going to have a, a certain design of the drawers. Uh, because uh, uh, remember the sink will be just going down, so we cannot be able to put the drawers. But we shall be we, sh we, are, we are just going to have the designs, a certain design of the drawers. Huh? We are going to have the drawers here. And uh, we are just going to have also another drawers here. So one, two, three. So at least we be with three drawers. This point, that point, and that point. So here we are not going to have the drawers, but it will just be designed that way. So that if you see, you may think that maybe it is the drawers. So that one we are done. We are going to have the drawers at three places. That is on my left, this point and this point so we are going to cut this place we are going to dress this place uh, so that uh, in future when i will be buying my stuff we can be able to fix it there we are going to fix our burner the one that has got like four places uh, to cook in future so that uh, at least somebody cannot be able to uh, maybe get difficult time again going to other places so we had already measured I think um, it is from this point up to some point here. So it will be bread. They, they are going to dress it, this place and this place, so that they remove this one, all of it. When they remove this one, we shall remain with the place from here up to this point, and the place from here up to this point, it will be tied. It is going to be tied. Then, uh, at the back, we are not going to squeeze it up to the wall. We don't want it to be near to the wall. It is going to be uh, to leave some inches so that you can put a tail there. When you sit, you see like it was built inside there. So that is the explanation about it. So because of the darkness, I'll just now go out to harvest maize. I'm just going out to go and uh, now do harvesting. So I can close here. I can close this door now. This way. So there is no need of uh, maybe closing it with a padlock now because I will still come back to to put my motorbike there. So I don't know if the chickens have entered all of them inside the house because I need now to close the, the house. Shh, shh, let us go. I want to close your door. Shh, 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 shh. I need to close them inside and close now. The door. Shh. So that when I start now harvesting, there is no interference. You see all of them, they are inside now. All of them, they are inside. They are eating. So maybe we can close. So that <clears throat> let me pass at this place in case I may meet another one that have closed it outside. I don't want to close out and you find that we have got the one that has not entered. Huh? So I'm just trying to check. Oh, you see, we've got that one. So it is one. We have got that one, only one. I think I will go there. I'll go and open for it because it is still eating grasses. So guys, uh, I need to start now harvesting. But I, I need, it is, could be best if I could be having something like a, like a nail. You see? 
So this is uh, how we harvest here. So I'll just be, I'll put them here. So this is uh, the method of harvest. So I need to harvest them all so that uh, by tomorrow I can be able to put them on the sun and make sure that uh, I'm getting ugali. Guys, you can check on this one. Very big. Very big. So I do this way. I do this way. Do this way. Even the one that is small, I harvest it this way. So maybe what I will do, like this one. So they did very good. If you have got a land like uh, one acre and harvest maize like this one, you have got a lot of sun. That one you have got a lot of sun. This one. I need to start with this one so that next week we shall be harvesting the rest. So now we'll get to Gali again. I will get to Gali. I've been buying the one that the one comes from the shop, and that one, you know, they normally say when you eat it, you don't be strong. <laughs> you are not supposed to eat that one. So, but when you eat like this one. We just be strong. Harvesting. And you remember when I was planting this maize, I remember some people. Yeah, I saw the comments, some people advising me not to plant here maize. Some people were like, somebody tell fellow not to plant their maize because that's the combo. But you see right now, I have Ugali. I have got Ugali. I will not be able to buy again Ugali. So you see how fast how fast I am? Just right now and you'll find that I've already finished. So I will call someone who has the cow. To come and uh, take uh, this, these uh, leaves to go and give the cow. The cow will feed on it. My neighbor here, my neighbor Morris, they have got a cow. So they will come and uh, take it. Or I can call my brother to come and cut it so that the cow cannot be able to lack food tomorrow. Guys, you see this maize? They are very big. They are very big. I'm faster because when we were young, we were trained on how to harvest maize. We were trained. Sometimes you could find that uh, they are caning even you so that you can be able to work very quickly. So I want to harvest it. I finish, then I go to Nyabuhanzi to look for supper. Something that I will cook today. I feel like today I can eat. I will eat rice. I will eat rice, and I will buy some sweet banana. I like rice and sweet banana a lot. Hey, we are going to have ugali. Look how that they, they are very nice. This one. So that, uh, that best thing will be food. Like this one has got food. This one has got two maize. And another one is here.
Okay guys, so I think I will be able to end this video now. Uh, I continue with the work. Let me just end this video right now. I, I continue with this work, then we shall be able to catch up in the next video. This is just a short video that I've just did for you. And uh, please, if you are uh, a new uh, to this channel and you haven't checked, check it out and uh, support me and subscribe on my YouTube channel. We have got Zach Discovery. We have got uh, our brother Otenga Jr. I mean, we also pray for him a lot. We have got uh, Joseph Mason. We have got uh, Joint Hand Green Left Tree. Uh, we have got who else? Mari and Melo. They have got a YouTube channel. Please check out and uh, subscribe. Joint Hand Green Left Tree. Check it out and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Savik. S I R V I K. Go and check on that YouTube channel and subscribe on his YouTube channel. So thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye. I'm ending uh, this video.